All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today I want to be discussing the S22 Ultra versus the S23 Ultra. This is a question, obviously, a lot of people are going to ask, and it's just something that we should definitely just address uh, while we can. So the S22 Ultra came out in February of 2022, uh, and then obviously the S23 Ultra just came out in February of 2023. So um, it just so happened that the years line up. Isn't that something? Did anybody else pay attention to that? 2023, 2022? 2020, 21, you get it. So um, these devices are, are different in, in some ways. Now, before having this device, I put out several videos then, you know, hey, I might get it, I might not. Uh, but there are some differences between the two now that I physically have them in hand and I've ordered my own. This is a unit that was sent out to me for review. Uh, and I'm going to send it back. But first, I'm trying to get some content for you on it. And I've already purchased my own. So... Um, the first thing that's that's different here is going to be the actual front of the display here, uh, the glass on these. So, I mean, ultimately what you're looking at is a, a fully curved display versus one that's not so much curved anymore and it's almost flat. And this is this is one of the probably the biggest conversations that people are having because it's important to a lot of people that they want a flat display. Now, why Samsung just won't make this a full flat display is beyond me, but they, they definitely could do it and it will be perfectly fine. What they've done is, is they've flattened out the size on the S23 Ultra uh, and then thus bringing the display up more. That That's all it is. Let me unlock this here. I think it's unlocked. Yeah. Uh, bringing it up more. So you, you have, it, it appears to be less of a curve for the S22 Ultra. So that has got to be one of the main things that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it to feel this good in the hand. Also, because of those flat sides, if you saw my unboxing video, you saw me say, oh, my gosh. I'm saying, oh, my God, this is crazy. So those little that subtle change right there in the hardware definitely is pleasing a lot of people. People are excited and they're saying to themselves, we're getting that much closer to a flat display. Uh, on the on the on the note lineup basically so the s23 ultra uh, uh has uh, a nice somewhat of a better feel in hand because of the flat sides and then also it has a more flatter uh, design on the display uh, they're both still 6.8 inches but one thing that's different between these two displays is the um the knitness remember that the knitness uh, now, all of the S23 lineup comes with 1750 on the peak brightness, uh, and but the S23 Ultra has 1200 nits kind of on a regular basis, if you want to say it like that. It can, it can, it can hit that with no problem, uh, but they're both still uh, dynamic, AMOLED, 2X, 120 hertz, HDR10+. That's all still the same, 6.8 inches, all still the same, uh, but... Uh, and the resolution is still the same, 500 uh, pixels per inch, 1440 by 3088. Uh, but other than that, it's still pretty much the same device. Now, this is running Android 5. Point, uh, Android 13 uh, One UI 5.1, and this is running Android 13 One UI 5.0. Now, the update is going to hit these devices right here. We just have to wait to see uh, when it's going to hit. Uh, we don't know exactly when it's going to hit these devices, but we know it will hit them soon. And I think a lot of people will probably be excited about that. Once it does, you'll get some of the benefits of the um, new lineup here. Why, it, why didn't it change my icons? Oh, I didn't, I didn't select it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, it's pretty hot that um, they're actually going to give. And I said that I think at one point, like you, you're going to get all the functionality and features of this um, this this setup right here on the S23 Ultra, you just have to be patient with it. So um, that's one thing. That's another thing that's different. Uh, it is running a different um, OS, if you will. Uh, it's running a little bit the higher one over here, and uh, and that's that's about the same. Now you do have Invictus uh, Glass. I think it's two plus over here. Uh, uh, Victor Glass 2, yeah, and then uh, Victor's Plus is on the uh, on the S22, and I'm calling out these things, I'm being very detailed now, I mean very detailed. So another thing about the S23 lineup uh, is that 
the S22 back in the, uh, had an option for the Exynos processor, and that was a lot of people. There was a lot of people that complained about that. They they didn't like that. They they did not like that the Exynos version was there, uh, and that <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. They didn't like um, that there was an Exynos version for certain uh, countries, and the S22 uh, um, in the U.S. had the Snapdragon variant. And this is in fact a U.S. model. But that is something that's different. You have the newer version, the Gen 1 over here, and then you have Gen 2 over here, both four nanometer chips. But one thing I want to say is the battery life on the S23 Ultra is still getting broken in. It's still learning my ways. Now, while it can last a full day, I'm not getting really good battery life as far as screen on time. Now, some people, uh, you know that I don't measure by screen on time, but some people want to hear this, so I have to say it. Uh, my screen on time was roughly six hours, maybe six and a half. Uh, and it lasted about a day right, right now, about, about 26 hours, maybe, uh, that was my screen on time here and my overall, now the, the S22 ultra that I have here, uh, it is broken in this, this thing has been with me since it launched. Um, I bought it, got it in, pre-ordered it, took a little bit of time to get here, but I basically bought it at launch and this is what it is. So, um, this battery life obviously is well broken in on the S22 Ultra, uh, but they still have 5,000 milliamp hour batteries inside these things. And I really wish that they would push it up more, giving more to the battery life. So another big change that I think a lot of people would appreciate is the storage options. So while I do have a uh, 512 gig on both of these, the baseline storage now uh, is... 256. And so that is, that's something that, um, I think people would appreciate, uh, knowing that you don't, you no longer have this 128 gig model. Uh, and, and, and sadly, you know, this is a thing, you know, that, you know, we're at, at a place where, um, you know, storage on, on a phone like this, a powerhouse phone like this, 128 gig option for the price, man, it's totally not worth it. So, I mean, for the people that are going to use it for certain things. Now, let me be clear. 128 gigs is a lot of storage. But for the price of these and for the consumers out there who are paying for these, let's just say people, someone doesn't have a have a um, a trade-in or anything. They just, don't, they, just, they just have to buy it. If they're going to pay that full cost and finance it on the carrier or they're just going to pay for it. And 128 gigs, they're going to try to get the lowest price. You know what I mean? So that's that's going to be different. And, and it's just not right. So I'm glad that they at least put it up to 256 gig uh, for the pricing. That, that should be it. That shouldn't even be a question, but it is. So, you know, I, I guess that's that's just the way it goes. But 256 gig is the minimum. Uh, this is a 256 gig model here that you see that they sent out to me. But I have a 512 on all the other options uh, that I have. Uh, so from Samsung. And by the way, I'm recording with the Z Fold 4 once again, saluting Samsung with their really good quality on their cameras in this in this setting here. Uh, and I think you could appreciate it. So storage option is another thing that's that's different on here. Uh, uh, one of the one of the main things that is going to be different uh, is the camera settings. Now, if you go into the camera settings, you go to photo and uh, this one's still set to 100 to 108 megapixel, but this is where you change your settings and I keep it, I take it off of 200 megapixels uh, when I was, I'm working on the uh, video uh, review for this. So I'm gonna try to get some of that done. If not, I'll just continue on with the footage that I took from this and then get more footage from my own personal unit when it comes in. But this is a 200 megapixel camera on the um, S23 Ultra and this is a 108 megapixel camera. Now the notice, the differences I have noticed in between these two is the S22 Ultra comes across flat sometimes. And, and let me show you what I'm talking about because I took some photos here. Um, I've been taking photos and this is the same photo. Uh, and I've really been testing and I want to show you how this particular photo looks on both phones. Now, if you can see here, uh, this, you should be able to tell that the S22 Ultra looks a little flat for some reason. This is just me standing and they're labeled. The 23 is on the bottom down there and 22 is on the bottom. Uh, but this is the same spot here. No fancy, nothing done. They're not doctored at all. Uh, and you know, 
this is this is what it kicked out. So you can see that is um, let's see if it'll there we go. Um, this one turns out to be about 18 megabytes on there. It is a 200 megapixel photo, uh, and this one is a 100 megapixel photo at 17.28. And so I, I did this to um, show that you know these these cameras can push the limits, uh, but Unfortunately, I can see the upgrades and, and uh, my project 13 said, hey, man, if the if the S23 Ultra isn't topping the, the S22 Ultra, it's going back. And I totally understand that. But for right now, I know you can see the difference now, over video. I know it might be kind of difficult, but this video has so much more color. This one looks like it needs to be edited in post and it needs to be color graded. So this came right out of the camera. 200 megapixels uh, shot and a 108 megapixel shot. That is what they're looking like, and unfortunately, right out of the camera like that, um, these these phone these phones shoot differently. And Jay, it was a 200 megapixel. I get it. 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 But you know, this is more about the software and the improvements that Samsung has made to these devices with those lenses. So you've got a 100 megapixel at f 1.8 versus a 200 megapixel at f1.7 so you're getting a little bit more light in there and you know they both have the dual pixel autofocus the laser autofocus oh yes they have all this they both still have the 10 megapixel periscope telephoto lens those didn't get changed at all uh, and they both still have the 10 megapixel 70 millimeter at f2.4 uh, but they still have the 12 megapixel ultra wide as well none of that changed what super steady video all of that it's just the main sensors changed and they really made some great improvements and strides on this camera. Now, another thing that's different with the S22 Ultra versus the S23 Ultra is the ability to shoot 8K at 30 frames per second. Now, I, in fact, do have some 8K footage. It is, it's nice and everything. I shot it 8K 30 frames per second. It's really good. Um, the footage is there. This Ultra shoots at 24 frames per second in 8K. But if I'm being honest, folks, nobody uses 8K. There's no 8K TVs in my house. And I'm saying nobody. I'm talking about over here. And I don't know anybody with an 8K TV, uh, to, 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 to be honest. I don't know anybody with an 8K TV. I don't know anybody with an 8K monitor. I know people that still have 1080p monitors. And you know that's the norm right now. Regardless of what you might believe, 8K is still kind of gimmicky, man. I mean... It's just a flex is what it is. Uh, it's a flex. Like you flex your, your Z Flip 4 or you flex your, your, your Z Fold 4. It's a flex. So these cameras, while close in numbers, the S23 Ultra definitely outshines it. And I don't think my Project 13 will be getting rid of his anytime soon. Uh, I think he's probably going to keep this over the S22 Ultra. I would think so if he's doing extensive testing like I am. So... Uh, if if I didn't have the like if this was a regular S22 Ultra, I probably would sell it off and then just keep this. But since I have the limited blue, it's gonna stay. So um, the front cameras have been changed a little bit too. You now have this 12 megapixel with the dual pixel autofocus uh, versus the 40 megapixel uh, that was that was on the the Ultra. So. But with that being said, though the cameras look better. It's incredible the software that they're able to do. Now, the reason being more than likely is because now the selfie video has HDR 10 plus support. So that is a huge, huge deal. It's a huge deal. And also the 12 megapixels uh, coming in at F2.2, it's gonna help it out a lot. Even though they're the same, it's going to help it out a lot. And I can see it in the quality that I'm getting from this device versus the S22 Ultra. Now, they both still have stereo speakers. 32-bit audio, uh, tuned by AKG. Um, this one now has Bluetooth 5.3 versus the 5.2. Folks, I don't I don't see much difference. They still have Wi-Fi 6E. I have a Wi-Fi 6E system at my house, uh, and they both do very well. Let's go ahead and do a Wi-Fi test really briefly here and, and show you. Okay. I'll do them one at a time. And I'll hold them both. Uh, they're both on 6E right now. So we'll see how close they are in performance. Uh, there's there's not much difference at all, folks. Uh, I mean, I've seen great numbers on all. No, we're not going to do that. I rebuke you. Uh, let's go ahead and do that one more time. 
Um, yeah, I've seen great numbers on, on, on both of these devices. Obviously, I'm having the, the six, uh, excuse me, having the S23 uh, longer. Also, I see how you, I rebuke you, Satan. Nah, I rebuke you. Let's go and keep this pushing right here. We're not going to have it. Not going to kill my vibe. But the S23 Ultra, uh, the Wi-Fi 6E is absolutely great. There is no issues with it whatsoever, except for right now. Uh, the devil trying to troll me, but it ain't going to work. So um, you get, I get phenomenal speeds. I've gotten 700, 800, 900 when testing on my network with different devices. And this device is no exception. It is getting well up there with all the others. The upload speeds are great too. The upload speeds are what's important. At least I should, it should be to a creator. Your upload speeds are, should be the most important thing to you. Now let's go ahead and test that on the S22 Ultra. Um, that the upload speeds, because if you're a creator and you want to upload content, you want, you need the fastest upload speeds, uh, because putting it, putting download speeds at a really fast speed. Okay. That's great. But upload speeds are where it's at. And see the ultra even did a little bit better right here. It's doing a lot better actually on, well, on the downloads. It is, but uploads are pretty much about the same. So, um, both phones are, are taking advantage of my Wi-Fi 6E for the best of their ability. I have one gig up and one gig down. Now, my, my Z Fold 4 that I'm recording with, it actually does really good over Wi-Fi. And you know you can plug these devices in directly, hardline? I mean, yeah, just something to think about. They both have a fingerprint dis uh, reader under, dis under the display. And um, you, can, you can check this out uh, if you think that's fast. They both have DeX. Some things just have not changed. Uh, and... Um, I think that's that's pretty much a, a lot of the differences, man. Um, that is that are those are the differences. They still have five thousand milliamp hour batteries. Um, they both have three point two Type C and OTG. Um, so there's a lot of things that just haven't changed. But you know, Samsung changed the cameras and brought some different colors, and you know, it still has forty five watt wired charging, charging which is sixty five minutes in thirty minutes, sixty five percent in thirty minutes on this device. And on the S22 Ultra, it charges fast too, but I've honestly never really tested it. But it's still 45 wired, 15 wireless, 4.5 reverse wireless. Reverse wireless charge is one of the biggest jokes for anything. <laughs> it's just the stupidest thing ever. But nonetheless, um, the loudspeakers on here are both very solid. Folks, I don't, I don't, it, it, and, and I said it before, if you have uh, a S22 Ultra, there's really no need for you to change unless you just want to. You really don't have to. And I, and I just feel like most people who, who are switching to this device, they want to get down with the latest and greatest, and I get it. I'm no shade here. I'm going to switch it back to one of the regular default wallpapers real quick. Because I want to show you the, the default wallpapers. A lot of these wallpapers that I have here... People have asked, like, where did you get that from? Like, it's a default, <laughs> it's a default wallpaper, son. Uh, but let me switch this because this is a default wallpaper. So I want you to see what this device is, is going to look like on the, on the default. You know what I mean? Um, so let's go ahead and add this one here. All right. This is both of them at their default state, folks. So. I mean, other than price at this point, should you get this? Because people people ask this, and people often ask the question, Jay, if you had to pick between... Now, people did it with this device, and now they're doing it with this device. I respect it. If you had to choose between the Fold 4 and the S22 Ultra, I'm like, Fold 4. If you had to choose between the S23 and, and Fold 4, I'm like, Fold 4. And even the Fold 5, when it drops, I would take it over this device more than likely. Um, even though the, the, the Fold 4 doesn't have... The, the extra lenses and stuff like that. The Fold 4, I'm recording with it. It is it is sick. It is another Samsung product that I think is really strong. Even my um, Z Fold, Z Flip 4, another strong one that's, that's solid. These are solid. I have a big Samsung catalog. I guess I could take it out of my case. I went outside and, and I like to protect my products when I go outside. Uh, but I told you, I said, I'm, I'm not, I don't plan on trading in devices, man. I'm, I'm tired of giving up devices. I want to collect as many as I can. 
And you know, this is a flex. So I talk about the flex. This is a nice device. And I also want to probably compare this to the uh, Z Flip 5 when it drops, because you know I'm probably going to get it, man. I do have to, I, I don't mind people clowning me. You know, like, Jay, I thought you said you weren't going to get the S23 Ultra. In so many words, I kept telling people that I was going to get it. I even ordered a custom color. You have to pay attention to when I, my play of words. Uh, but I ordered the, the 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 one that I wanted, and then I canceled it and went back. You know, I just happened to get a shoe on it, blah, blah, blah. Then I still ordered my own. Didn't order a custom color, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that lime is... Ugh, I, I, I've said it before. I'm going to get off of that. But Samsung's cameras, as I record again with the Z Flip 4, uh, the cameras are beast mode, man. The, the cameras are all of that. And they can be used for a lot more things then some other um check my setup check this out before I, I mean, here's a here's a flex for you right here check this 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 is my setup it's my only go setup shout out to subcase what this what what check that huh check that check that tell me that's not like this boss beast mode we'll just sit this right here just just to flex so <laughs> literally um but nonetheless folks I hope you enjoyed this detailed look and on the techie side, as many things as I could point out, the differences between the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. And again, I'm getting ready to answer that question. A lot of people could be asking, should I switch, should I switch? I still say you shouldn't switch. Um, and you, it's okay to live vicariously through through other people. You know what I mean? Like it's it's okay. Keep your S22, let me say this. If you have a, a limited like blue, the graphic, any of the first editions of the limited colors, keep it folks. Keep it, keep it, keep it. And shout out to all the people who got the graphite limited edition color for um, the, the S23 Ultra. Uh, BG Tech Life, um, a bunch of different people um, I, I watch got the the graphite. I know Grant got the graphite again. He has the graphite for the first gen. Uh, but um, shout out to my man Glenn in my chat. He now has the powder blue with the, the chrome sides. It is beast mode, folks, I got to admit. Uh, but I can't wait to get my own personal unit in. Uh, I'm going to be really excited about it. I love everything about this device so far. Uh, I might go ahead and even cancel my S23 order, like my other one that I ordered. I might cancel it because, honestly, folks, I, I probably wouldn't even use it uh, after feeling this one. Uh, it feels so good in the hand, and, and it's just, you know, it's just, it's just what it is. I'm just being honest. I'm human, uh, and I'm definitely loving this device right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed. This is a look at the S23 Ultra. And the differences from coming from the S22 Ultra, should you change? Probably not. But if you just want to flex, you do you. You do you. You you are in total control of what you do with your money and how you get, kick your pockets down like that. But me as a creator, the techie in me just will not let it go, man. I, I try to step off. One other thing I want to point out. Uh, on the differences between these two, this actually has tri-band support versus the dual-band support. But you saw in that Wi-Fi test, not much difference, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So, you know, it, I, and I have an actual 6E setup. So, um, yeah, it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoy it. Very detailed, I know, very detailed look uh, at, at, at these phones right here. But sometimes you have to do it like this because there's so many questions that people ask and I don't want to make a whole bunch of videos on what's so different about these. So I just ran down the tech specs and just kind of gave you a brief overview overview of, of, of what I like about this one. Now, th this this device right here, folks, I will tell you, if you have the Ultra S22 Ultra, you might not want to go touch this like in a demo unit or hold somebody else's because you are going to feel the difference. You are going to say, whoa, this is definitely feeling good. It's feeling better than my phone. And I'm loving this. You are going to do it. There's no way you can't. You won't do it. It feels phenomenal. And that subtle change in the flatness of the sides. Oh, one other thing is different. S Pen. S Pen is officially square. It's got a square bottom on it. So they flatten off this, these little subtle changes like this. And and then look at look at look at the extra microphone down there. You see that? That's something that's a little different. You got two microphones there. Don't don't mistake the SIM tray hole. There's a microphone on each side there. You got one microphone here. And you got that round tip on, on, on the S Pen versus the square tip over here. That is something. Let me go ahead and pull it out so you can see what I'm talking about. They both still have the memo. 
So if you look here, I don't know how well this is going to show to you. If you look there, you see that, that square tip now? They also reversed it, as you can see, with the black. Um, but you see that it's, it's a square tip versus a round tip. Little subtle changes like that, folks, mean a lot to some people. They mean a lot to some people, and, and people noticed. You know what I mean? I've already got a video out talking about how um, the uh, this one now records in 4K UHD. It's so strange that that's not that's not shown anywhere. Um, okay, so this is how you do it. You go to portrait video. It's already set to UHD, but you can change it now to full HD. It came set to full HD, uh, and you can change it now to UHD. Now, on this device right here, when you go to camera, you go to more, and you go to uh, portrait video, there's no options. You see that? All you have is the little icon for the... Um, uh, the face and all that stuff. And if you go into settings, you're not going to see anything about, oh, you can change this to uh, 4K for your... Nope. You're not going to see it. Here are the settings difference right here. Go to shooting methods, you can see here. But, yeah, man, I mean, it it, it is what it is. No, no, um, no 4K shooting on, on portrait video for this particular um, model here. And I think that's something that um, people should probably point out if you like to vlog or whatever. But again, I'm sure you guys will find something else that I missed in this video. But this was a very detailed look at both of these devices. And I mean, it's like people want me to ask that question. They're both at 55%. Check that. <laughs> They're both literally at 55%. I wasn't looking at the battery, but I'll check it out when I get out of this video, though, see what they both started at. But, you know, people are going to ask, like, should you get this? Should you get this? Folks, you got to make your own choice. But how about we give it up for the Z Fold 4 shooting at almost a 30-minute video, not cutting off, except for when I pause it to clear my throat, and it's not warm at all <clears throat> to the touch. I've, I've done this multiple times, but it doesn't really get warm to the touch at all. And it shoots straight through. Unlimited 4K 60. I'm loving it. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed the S23 Ultra versus the S22 Ultra. A detailed spec look and a physically look, physical look at them here to show you what's different, man. The imprints on both are nice too, aren't they? It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.